So you want to use that camera you already have, or you're looking into buying a camera and you want to use it as a webcam for your live streams. Let's do it. People ask me all the time on TikTok, and I've gotten a few questions here on YouTube as well about how I use a camera like this as a webcam. How do I use this for streaming? So I'm going to show you how I do it. I have two methods that I have personally used. But keep in mind, there may be other ways to do it, uh, but that's a question for Google. So for the first method, if you have a Canon camera like this, this is the Canon T6i, or if you have any of the Canons on this list, then you can use the free EOS webcam utility software. All you'll need is a compatible USB cable to connect your camera to your computer and then download the software. The Canon website actually gives a great step-by-step -step of this process, so I'll leave a link to that down in the description. From there, you'll open up your broadcasting software and add in a new video capture device and then select the EOS webcam utility. While this software is free, there are some downsides. The biggest one being the max resolution is capped at 576p at 30 frames per second, which just doesn't cut it for me personally. But if you have a compatible Canon, you might as well try it out for yourself since it is free. Now onto the preferred method, which unfortunately is not free, but it's going to give you the best quality. And that is using some sort of HDMI camera capture card. I use one from Elgato, but I'm sure you could find other options, cheaper options out there somewhere. But for me, I know Elgato makes a quality product, so their price point works for me. So I use the Elgato Camlink 4K and I shoot at 1080p 60 frames per second. But like the name suggests, you can shoot in 4K at 30 frames. On the Elgato website, you'll be able to see a list of all the compatible cameras and some important notes as well. For example, with my Canon, I have to turn autofocus off in order to have the clean HDMI. And some of them even have setup guides, which is super helpful. And again, I'll leave a link to this page down in the description so you can check to see if your camera is compatible. On this page, you'll also be able to see the connection type for your camera. So for my Sony that I'm using to film right now, I use a micro HDMI cord that plugs into the cam link and then the cam link plugs into my PC via USB 3. And then from there, you can add it into your streaming software, just like I showed earlier. Just make sure you select Camlink 4K as the device. And now that we have our camera hooked up to the computer, we're not done yet. You're going to need an unlimited power source for your camera. So that means we are not using the battery pack that comes with your camera. We need something that will last long periods of time without dying, without having to be replaced, without having to be charged. So we use a dummy battery. This slides into your battery slot just like a regular battery, but then it plugs into a power outlet so there is continuous power running to the camera. A quick Google search, including your camera model and dummy battery, and you will find one that is compatible for your camera. And then you're ready to go. And it really wasn't too difficult. I have links to my cameras, the accessory, the cords, all of that down in the description. And I also have an Amazon storefront with everything that's in my setup linked there. So I'll leave that in the description as well. And of course, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments and I will try to get back to you as fast as I can. Bye.